This is another quick recording of a cool Vertex demonstration. Uh, we showed you the clown vote earlier, now I want to show you this HA concept within Vertex, which is high availability. So I have the initial process stood up over here. Vertex is running over here. I have it connected to the browser over here. Uh, now let me start pushing out messages to it. So there's Python, Groovy, uh, JavaScript, Scala, Ruby, and Java. So it's trying to show as many of the languages that uh, Vertex supports by default. It's basically just shooting messages out to the event bus and then shooting it out to the client, in this case, the browser. The browser syntax is incredibly simple. You know, it's just a little bit of JavaScript here to basically say register handler. And when a message comes in, it basically updates. It does a prepend on that status div right there. So that's why it keeps on. You see it scrolling down there from the browser's perspective. So you can see it cruising on in. And you can see my messages are flying about over here in these different tabs. Uh, the sending syntax within... Uh, it's very straightforward. Like here's the Ruby, publish, event bus publish. Here's the uh, Scala, ver uh, Vertex, event bus publish. JavaScript, event bus publish there. Groovy, publish. Python, publish. So the syntax is basically the same across all the different languages to interact with the event bus, and they all share that event bus, and it's easy to pass uh, messages back and forth across all the different languages. That's really the heart and soul, I believe, of Vertex and the power of Vertex. But let me show you one last thing here, because this is the HA aspect, which I think is really killer. So like if I look at this Python process running over here, I can do a search for it. Uh, so Python. Uh, so that's the Python process. I want to I want to kill the Python process here. So kill minus nine. You'll notice that on this tab, it died. It got killed minus nine right there. Um, let me come back over here to my browser, just so you kind of see it still cruising along. You know, so the messages are still flowing because the Groovy process picked up the Python workload. So Python is still actually running. It just the Groovy process now owns it. Here's the JavaScript process. Let's see if we can kill it. Kill the JavaScript process. So JavaScript over here. All right, kill minus nine. And I'm going to kill that right PID. You'll notice, again, it's kill minus nine on JavaScript. But somebody is going to pick up the JavaScript workload. Let's see if we can find out who it is. Oh, the Java process picked up the JavaScript workload. And it's just off and running. So even though I've been killing these processes, everything keeps running until there's no more Java, uh, sorry, no more Vertex processes even available to take up the load. So you'd have to kill all the Vertex processes to kill these jobs. Otherwise, they keep on running based on the fact that I used the dash HA flag when I started them. So you can see right there, the Ruby one's still running, Scala's still running. You know, here's the dash HA that I spoke about earlier. All these are set up in different modules. And again, you can see from the code standpoint, it's incredibly simple. All they're doing is publishing to the news feed, which you've probably seen in other examples. And you can see there's getting Groovy, you know, jazzy JavaScript, you know, super Scala, Rock and Ruby, and of course those messages are flowing out to the browser. And just to flip that open one more time, it's a very simple register handler there. Oh, sorry, register handler right there. Pull in the um, pull in the message and update the status. Right, that div tag right there, the div ID right there. So that's very straightforward, and it just allows you to kind of see the you know the messages rolling in real time. And again, with that HA capability, if I decide to whack one of these guys, um, let's say we whack, uh, that's the groovy process right there. All right, so again, a kill minus nine is kind of ugly shutdown. If you have a clean shutdown with a control C, um, you don't see this behavior. So if you're testing it, don't use control C. That's a clean shutdown. In this case, we have a, an ugly shutdown with a kill minus nine. You can see I just whacked the Groovy process, which had Python and Groovy running in it. That means somebody has to pick up both those workloads. And you can see the Scala process picked up Python and Groovy jobs now, too. So like I said, this keeps on working until there's no more Vertex processes to take up the workload. All right, that's high availability with Vertex, and I thank you for your time.